next we have waypoint tracking, rendering waypoints in the world, light beams, and so on. And we'll actually try adding some waypoints. I'll actually have to check some controls first though. Uh, let's see. We should be able to find... here we go. So you can create waypoints with B, increase the map size or reduce it with brackets by default, toggling the cave and entity showing displays, map visibility and so on. So we'll actually go to U. We can see that we can create a map. We can view the dimensional ones even though we haven't been to them yet. Um, so we'll just create a new one. We'll just say spawn area. We can select the actual marker color. We can change the coordinates to whatever we want to display it elsewhere besides where we actually are creating it. Um, you can change the icon as well besides just the color. So let's go with something like a house I guess. You can hide it, have it display on the screen edge I'm assuming, or in world I guess. You can edit it anytime or delete it. We can see a display here, we can see a beam, as well as an icon there, as well as it displaying it, I guess, pretty much. Oh, okay, that's the screen edge, whoops. So not exactly the same as like a compass in other games, but it will display it on the edges of the screen if you're obviously heading in that direction or want to see it in that direction. Okay, so if you're close enough to it from say about this viewpoint it seems and then if you're not facing it enough it won't display it um, and if you're standing in it it's not going to really need to display it that much you're standing directly on it so yeah and then we can obviously tweak the beams if we wish i'm pretty sure via configs here so markers beams rendering them in world render animation Max render distance and other such things will enable as well. So we won't see any of that stuff too much. Uh, we are seeing screen edge though, so I'll tweak that because we don't need to see that. And in world, obviously, it's not showing beam, but because obviously we've disabled a bunch of things. But uh, if we did, then uh, we'll just actually display those. It may be changing obviously on the map rather than in world. And then we'll just enable those because that's what we want to do for displaying the other stuff. Uh, we'll actually render that for screen edge. We'll actually do hidden. And then we'll just not display it. And then we can do screen edge again because we'll probably need that. Uh, it doesn't seem to be showing the beam though for some reason. Okay, what did I do wrong? Ah, oh, okay, that's probably why. That's why. Yeah, the maximum minimum render distance, obviously, will have it where it probably ends up being similar to hidden, um, in a way. So I actually tweak that to hidden now. We shouldn't be able to see it. There we go. So you can set the maximum minimum render distance or whatever sort of um, distance you want to obviously be able to see the um, waypoints, the beams, and so on. If we go to radar, we can obviously display the entity heads, we can show them on the map, um, we can change the size of them if we want, which will display the highest value for now. Uh, you can display hostiles, peaceful, other players, show players' heads, display their names, I'm assuming on the map, not likely in world, I'm assuming. Uh, you can show the out have outlines for the icons if you want to, as well as obviously render entity models to reduce FPS, as well as entity model size can also be increased or decreased. So I'll just display a few of those, and you can see now the entities are more so in their, like their 3D counterparts, uh, sort of 3D look to them compared to sort of a flat face of sorts. I'll just Move a few of these, keep that displayed at a higher amount, just to obviously see the outlining if we can. Uh, let's see, 
SD model size, move in the entity icon size by X, I move the outlining right. So that's how small they can get, and before, as you can see, how large they could get. We just change those changes back. Okay, so we can have grid lines if we want for chunks, I'm assuming. You can display the biome, the position, show the FPS count if you want. And there's obviously optimization changes you can have for chunks updating per cycle. Delay for the cache purging in seconds, not ticks, as well as the maximum amount of chunks to purge. I'm assuming that's each time it's updating, or just how much it's going to render in when it's a new chunk, or how much it displays on the map at once, I guess? I'm not 100% sure there. Um, I don't think we can change the outline for the grid, though. As far as I would assume, we've got 60 FPS replicating exactly what's displayed there, now 58. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously you can do this via the following here if you want to, uh, but obviously if you have mod menu you can use that. Um, otherwise yeah, that should be pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.